So you've just started your own van conversion and you want to replace the double seat in the front of your van with a single passenger seat. But you've had nothing short of a heart attack at the cost of these things. I've seen them on eBay for £650 and more. It's quite unbelievable. So you thought, can I use a driver's seat instead? But there's always the problem with the seat belt. Well, actually, I'm going to show you a quick, simple, easy fix to this problem where you can save a fortune by using a driver's seat on the passenger side. Stick around, I'll show you how. OK, so I have uh, taken my double seat out and have replaced it, as you can see here, with a single seat. But what I have purchased is a single driver's seat uh, which came off of eBay out of a 2016 uh, Citroen Relay which is in pretty good condition considering it's four or five years old now and pattern wise it matches nicely with the front seat driver's seat which is good but let me demonstrate the problem the reason why I fitted it in the van is to demonstrate the issue we have on the driver's seat here you can see the seat belt mount is right here and it's a pre-tensioner and everything built in here and uh, it just sits on its frame all fairly straightforward so if we buy a driver's seat for this side we have the problem where the seat belt mount is here i've taken the actual seat belt stalk off and the covering and everything to show you the actual the actual bracket there but the bracket is now on the left hand side and it's actually welded onto the bottom of the seat here so unfortunately it's not something that you can just simply undo these bolts and uh, and take it off it is actually welded on and on the side that we need it there's absolutely nothing to fix to or so i thought so let me take this seat out and then I can show you how you can fix this problem. Okay, so we're now at the uh, back of the seat. I've taken off the seat frame. The seat frame can stay in place because that's universal both sides. It doesn't make any difference. And what we are looking at is this bolt here and its corresponding one this side. What we are going to need for that is a Torx uh, bit which is a T50 a big size one and a 16 mil spanner and what we're going to do is remove this uh, this one here and the same the other side I was going to be clever there and use my extension but actually it's better without the extension on the ratchet because you can get in behind this plastic bit just about so let's take that one out as well okay so what I'm going to need to fit the uh, seat belt now is this uh, 12 mil uh, threaded bar some 12 mil uh, locking uh, nylock nuts, some 12 mil uh, flange nuts, and a selection of penny washers, the seat belt stalk off of the double seat, and a 19 mil spanner, and a 19 mil socket. And let me show you how this is going to work. So first of all, this. Uh, threaded bar is going to go right the way through where those two bolts were so the first thing I'm going to do is to mark this and uh, cut it to length and then I'll show you how much overhang I've left each side okay so I've cut my threaded bar to 40 centimeters and that will now fit through there pretty well like this and what we need to do is the two parts of this connection here the 12 mil will fit nicely through this side but this side is a little bit small so what I'm going to do is get uh, a, uh, a hole cutting bit in the end of my drill 
and just through from this side here just make this a hole just a little bit bigger okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to thread this uh, bolt through A little bit stiff but I'm glad of that because actually that's exactly what we want so before I get this end in the most important bit is to feed on the bits we need that are going to be in the middle so first things first is a washer the flange nut that's going to go this end so it goes on that way around And the flange nut for this side, so this one is going to go on that way around. And a washer. And now we can get it through the other hole. Okay, so now we've got this, uh, this in. Let's get these here. And I've left enough on this end to get a penny washer on and a locking nut on the end of there. So I'm gonna tighten up this end first with two 19 spanners. just through onto the locking nut with nothing protruding which is just nice now at this end the inside flange nut can now be done up so that this doesn't uh, move anymore like that and first things first is another penny washer so first thing on here is a Locking that. Okay, so I've got my locking nut on and I have a, a length protruding here still. So now with my seat belt stalk from my double seat, let's show you how the magic happens. Let's go to the other side of the seat first. Just down in this corner, this seat belt mount will slide between the two cushions, just like so, and sit very snugly right in that corner. Let's show you what we've got around the back now. All right, here the stalk has uh, now magically appeared. So what we're going to do is build this up with a penny washer first, because this is a fairly large circumference, a penny washer will sit nicely there. So penny washer first, then the seat belt stalk, then another penny washer, and now the final locking nut. Just do this one up. And one more nice and tight for good luck. Right. So now you can see the seat belt stalk is sandwiched between two nice big penny washers and two locking nuts on what is now a 12 mil threaded bar. Now, previously, in the original seat belt, it would have had this 10 mil um, bolt going through here, and that would have been uh, what the seat belt is attached to. So, with my 12 mil bar, I think I've actually made that a bit stronger, if anything, 
and is still attached to the seat the uh, the the up and down uh, mechanism will still work because everything's still attached and uh, what I might do in the future is uh, just take a an angle grinder and uh, just cut the rest of this bracket off out of the way but I'm not too worried about that at the moment uh, because it still needs to go for its MOT test and check that this is okay I can't see any reason why it shouldn't be because actually this is now stronger than than this would have been and again the reason why we didn't use the original bolt is as you can see if I offer that up there it's uh, actually nowhere near long enough that's why we need to replace that with threaded bar and rather than use 10 mil threaded bar for the sake of just enlarging these two holes just very slightly a 12 mil bar fits quite nicely and successfully right let's get this seat back into position and see what it looks like right now we've got the seat back fitted again this is what it looks like uh, from the back and actually I don't think that looks too bad that looks quite a tidy job when I do the electrics and I've got some uh, black corrugated tubing for the electric cables I should probably just run a piece over this uh, metal bar here just to uh, take the shine off of that and of course because we're not just using a normal uh, seat belt now with no pre-tensioner um, we didn't need to mess about with these uh, with these cables and uh, actually on the double seat they're not connected anyway so there's no issue with any of that and uh, let's see what it looks like from the front here so my son Harry is sat in the uh, passenger seat the seat belt mount is uh, just by the side of him there actually a bit like a normal car seat I suppose uh, right let's see how the belt works Harry does that clip in Yeah. Perfect, look at that. Does that feel comfortable? Is that okay? Yeah, it feels okay. So there we are, one nice, quick, simple fix to the passenger seat dilemma. What I've done, just to recap, is I've bought a single driver's seat uh, off of eBay for £250, and using the seat belt stalk off of the double seat, we managed to remount that onto this uh, driver's seat. And the threaded bar on all the nuts and everything have cost me probably about uh, six, seven pounds in total. And I think if you're not too concerned with the seat belt on the passenger side being up here and the seat belt on the driver side being down here and the aesthetics of that, then uh, that is a definite solution and many hundreds of pounds saved. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.